Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the weapons in Brita's weapon pack using Gunfighters Mod 2.0. So there's a lot of new features that you can add to your guns that you find and I'm actually going to show you how to do it. The most important thing is to have a screwdriver in your inventory. Nowhere else you don't have to put this in your hand or equip it as your secondary weapon you just keep it in your inventory nowhere else so i have this nice really nice glock 17 pistol here i'm gonna show you this one and as you can see it has nothing special on it there's no scopes there's no nothing so usually you'll find scopes or other things in uh, weapon shops or sometimes you'll find them e even in houses or attached to other weapons so for this thing, I'm gonna take a couple of uh, accessories here. I'm gonna take this nice Aimpoint Pro Red, or actually I'll take this micro one. Take this micro one here, and let's see here. Let's take also a pistol suppressor. We also have this suppressor North Star pistol, which is pretty nice. And I'm gonna take... Oh, Flashlight. I'm gonna take this SOCOM laser aim module. That's pretty good, I think. So make sure your weapon is in your hands, right? Right click on it, and then you're gonna have your upgrades. So let's start with the scope and upgrade. Upgrade it with a scope, and as you can see, very easy. I added the scope there. That that means that I'm going to have better aiming. When I'm shooting this weapon, let's see. I'm, let's upgrade to the laser now. You can now not every weapon can be upgraded. For example, with lasers, like if you have like an old school revolver, right? You might not be able to do this. Okay, so I got the laser, as you can see. And now I'm also gonna upgrade. So I can select uh, these suppressors. I'm gonna start with this one. And as you can see now I have this big suppressor and I can also remove it remove the suppressor just like this again and I can also put the other one which is the North Star as you can see now my weapon looks very tactical the suppressor actually works and another thing that you need to know is that when you have Arsenal uh, fighter gun mod installed you can actually have different type of magazines so right now I'm just gonna load the standard magazine uh, some bullets right that's some bullets here right so this is a standard magazine right as you can see, that's a very standard uh, magazine there. I think it's 15 rounds, yep. But then there are extended magazines. For example, this one, the BL Stack Extended. This one takes 30 bullets. So basically it takes double one that I have. So let's insert some. So yeah, that is... A magazine with 30 bullets and you can also if you find one of course you can also add a drum now I'm not gonna load all of this because it will take absolutely ages but I uh, can switch to a drum as you can see I have a drum magazine now and that is how much I think it's 50 bullets it's quite quite a lot right anyway so uh, how do you power up the laser right because right now the laser is not working you have to use a regular battery right you right click on your weapon and you press charge uh, for example in my case SOCOM laser aiming module right it will tell you that it's 100 out of 100 that means it's charged and now I press the laser button as you can see I have a laser 
can also have a light and sometimes there are certain weapons which can have both uh, laser and also light so for example right now I have light I also have laser in this case so another thing that you need to know is that you can make makeshift suppressors so for example if you have duct tape and an empty bottle like this so I'm gonna grab this duct tape here make sure the bottle is empty you can right click on it and craft a pop bottle suppressor then you can attach it to your pistol or your rifle I'm gonna uninstall the North Star suppressor here and I'm going to install this pop bottle now you need to know that these things will not last very long so as you can see I have that's basically a bottle wrapped with some duct tape and this thing will not last for a long time because well it's just like a plastic bottle right and then sometimes you can find these two items which are interesting you'll find a solvent trap adapter and you also find an oil filter this is basically like a cars oil filter for the engine and if you combine these two together by right clicking on them make solvent trap you can basically make also a makeshift suppressor but this one is a lot more sturdy and it will last for quite a long time but it will look a little bit funny as well so it will look something like this <laughs> and yeah this uh, this is pretty good it will also you know be suppressed but uh, it's not as good as you know having one of these tactical uh, suppressors so another thing that you need to know about pistols is that you can change the grip style of your pistol sometimes you'll find these uh, grips for example I have this alloy grip which is blue and then I have this grip with the Punisher logo so I have this called M911 is quite old an old pistol right and I'm gonna equip it really quickly and if you look at it right it just has this wood grip and I can actually change the grip to another color just for fun so for example let's upgrade it with this alloy blue color now it's it's not wood anymore it's a uh, blue it's this blue uh, grip basically modern looking grip so I can put it here as well you can actually see it so you know a little bit of decoration here and there you also have this uh, Punisher style grip and there's a lot more there's like wood there's like ivory there's so there's so many I'm gonna put this here right let's move on to rifles now so I have this uh, Bushmaster AR-15 AR gonna equip it and it's the same thing like the pistol so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna check what upgrades I want so I'm gonna go with this EOTech times 3 zoom and also have another tactical laser here I can also put a foregrip let's see I'm gonna go with BCM here now some rifles can also have a muzzle break which reduces recoil but it doesn't reduce sound by that much so let's go with this muzzle break for now but uh, I'll also take yeah, I'm also gonna take this PBS rifle now PBS suppressors right they're meant for AKs but they can be also installed on modern uh, for example a modern M4 Right, I think I have everything, right? Yeah, I think I do. Right, so let's uh, upgrade this puppy as well. So you might want to get your hands on a mod. It's called Inspect Your Weapon. Right, you can inspect your weapon here, like this. And it also tells you what stuff you can upgrade your weapon with. For example, you have scopes here, you have slings, you can... Can do a lot of a lot of stuff here so for example I have this BCM 
grip right I double click on it and as you can see it will automatically upgrade this M4 in a different way right we have a stock here we have this laser so instead of you know right clicking and upgrading you can also upgrade like this with this additional mod so I recommend you to download this mod because it will make your life way easier so as you can see I upgraded this M4 let's give it a give it a test here uh, um, 556 thank you and I need a magazine and we reload it and this rifle also takes drums so you can upgrade this weapon with a drum magazine and you can also let's change the muzzle brake to a suppressor right so this is a suppressor from an AK so it's gonna look a little bit funny But it's also it's also real cool next our shotgun shotgun are pretty much the same as well but they have some different things that you need to be aware of so some shotguns can be equipped with something called a sling it's like a belt basically so i'm gonna grab this three point sling here so gonna up get a uh, slide here right so I'm gonna upgrade this thing so this thing weighs how much does this thing weigh uh, press G right this thing weighs three kilos right 3.1 kilos or 3.1 weight so if I install this three point link here now it weighs one point three which is quite less is it let's see wait 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 it's actually 1.9 so I reduced the weight by quite a lot by installing this uh, three point sling but I also probably increased the reload time because you know this link will be kind of in the way when you reload uh, I can also upgrade with this light and again this light right now as you can see i installed the light there but this light does not have a charge so i need to charge it with a battery and now it is charged as you can see you turn this light off gives you tactical light there so it can help you you know right so another thing that you need to know is that some shotguns have something called a choke now a choke is kind of like a reversed funnel that you install inside the barrel of the uh, side of the end of the barrel of your shotgun i think it's this one I'm sure if it's this one or this one we'll see let's do inspect weapon and check one you you take okay you take this one okay so we can install this thing and as you can see it has been added it does not change the sound right it's pretty much the same but it changes the angle of my pellets basically and it reduces the cone so if i don't know if my shotgun spreads the pellets up to five tiles with this with this thing installed it will reduce it to three tiles so basically i'm going to focus my fire a lot narrower than it should be which could be an advantage because it can increase the damage of your shotgun right but it can also give you a disadvantage right here we have an SPAS this here again please don't be on the floor that's with this SPAS now this is a French very famous French shotgun right now this thing has a stock, foldable stock as you can see. And this can increase your accuracy, but it can also increase your reload time because you know the stock is in the way. 
Right, and this thing can also be upgraded with a suppressor or light or whatever you want. I think it can be upgraded with this thing. Suppressor. Yes, we can upgrade thing as well. So this grip has a light incorporated on it. So I can also... Oh, I need a battery. But yeah, that will also have like a light attached to the grip. So it's like, you know, two in one. Uh, grip and uh, forge basically. Let's uh, try this thing. Some shotguns have magazines, some shotguns don't have magazines. This thing does not have a magazine. As you can, as you can hear, it's very, very, very quiet. And you can actually check how much quiet it is. Uh, let's see. Sound is 14 tiles. Right, I remove the... Right, let me remove the suppressor here. So now, uh, the sound radius is 70 tiles, so it's quite loud. Right, so you have to be careful. You always check the stats. You have buttons, right? For uh, from gunfighters mode, you have like buttons where you can. I think it's G, right? And you can like check all the statistics of your weapon. Basically, I'm gonna put this here. Right, let's go back to uh, salt rifles, right? Because there's something very important that I have added now. So here we have. This uh, AR-15 that I upgraded, and here we have this AVOA, which is kind of like a DMR. It's like a big, long AR-15. Let's equip it. So this thing is a really nice rifle, but it has a big issue. It's only single fire, right? But now they have added a feature where I can grab the trigger of this automatic rifle right and install it on this rifle but before you do that you have to first read these magazines here so you have AK-47 for you know Kalashnikovs you have Armalite, Armalite are basically M4s, M16s etc for example this thing is on the Armalite category you also have, uh, so you have Armalite, you have Fall Battles Better rifles and you also have HK weapons so basically Belgian weapons German weapons etc etc so you have to read these guys so for this case I have to read this Armalite rifle but I already uh, did that so I have to go back here right so what I have to do is I have to grab the trigger of this thing and install it into this thing but before I do that I'll start by removing the trigger on this weapon. So I just right click on it and you'll get an option called remove trigger. Again, you're gonna need the screwdriver. And now my character is removing the trigger. So when you remove the trigger, you can actually look at it. And it says that this trigger only supports single fire, as you can see. So I can leave this here. I'm gonna grab the other rifle now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the trigger from this uh, AR-15. Oh my god, I keep calling it everything but an AR-15. Uh, so remove trigger from the AR-15. I'm removing it as well. So now I have two triggers, right? If I hover with my mouse on them, I can see single fire and automatic and only single fire so what i have to do so i have to install this on the avoa right so i grab it and i install the single fire with automatic fire as well okay i'm gonna check it so full automatic and single fire so that works and if you remove a uh, trigger, right, your weapon will become uh, useless. So if I try to shoot this thing, now remember this thing has 
ammunition. It does have ammunition, right? Let's see. It has nine bullets. Cannot fire. By the way, this is actually quite useful in multiplayer. You can remove the trigger, right? Someone comes to your house and try to steal your weapon. You can't really fire the the weapon. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove the magazine from this one, and I'm going to swap it to the other weapon, which is this one. I reloaded. So as you can see, it's single fire, but it's also automatic. So then, so basically, what I did is I upgraded this weapon now. Because now I have single fire and I have also uh, automatic. And for example, this is very useful. Um, for example, you find an M4, but it's quite damaged. It, it has an automatic fire mode. But then you find an M16, which is not damaged, but it only has single fire. And then you can swap the triggers between them. So next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this uh, new weapon with the AR-15's upgrades that I have. So I'm just going to grab it. And I can start removing all these upgrades one by one. You can also re remove them like this. The silencer. I'm also going to try the other silencer so I can check how it looks. So I removed everything here. I'm just going to put it here. So we'll leave it there and I'm going to start upgrading this thing now. So this rifle is going to be way better because it's a much more long range weapon and it's going to have also a bit more firepower than the other one. Right. This silencer as well, and this thing is fully upgraded. The laser should work as well. Yep, because I charge the battery. Don't ask me why the laser is uh, is orange or brown. It used, they used to be they used to be green. I'm not sure what happened. Anyway, let's try the suppressor here because this one is not. Where is it? This one is not an AK suppressor, so it might look a bit better. Where is it? Upgrade the suppressor. So the suppressor, yep. And as you can see, that's a regular looking suppressor. It's not like the AK suppressor there. So another thing that I can do, since I have a much more longer range, I can install a longer range scope so this one will give me a better accuracy at long range but then at short range i'm going to struggle a little bit so i gotta be more careful i'm gonna use this uh, leopold now you can see it's mu it's a much more long range scope but that should help me with long range engagements. So let's reload this thing. I also added a drum with 30 bullets. Right, let's test this weapon. We'll test how good at long range it is. Some zombies here. Okay, I got a jam. Probably because of the rain. And as you can see, as you can see, they didn't even notice me. And it's this thing is very deadly. So we upgraded the trigger, upgraded the modules of this uh, rifle. And now it's a very, very good rifle. Okay, last thing I'm going to show you is the crossbow. Crossbow works the same way as any weapon. But remember, it's only crossbows that are from the Britas weapon pack. So here we have this crossbow, as you can see. It's already loaded with a bolt. And I'm gonna grab, let's see, I'm gonna grab this aim point. 
And I'm also going to grab this two point sling. This is going to reduce the weight of this crossbow. And I think I can take also this uh, mock pull vertical grip. Yeah, I'm not sure about this laser here. So let's check with the inspect weapon function mod. So obviously, barrel there, we can't install anything. We can install the scopes. How many scopes can it take? Wow! Can install this can I either install a sling or we can install a grip so a grip is gonna help me a bit more with accuracy and this thing is going to help me with weight right we have magazines okay yeah that laser doesn't work on this crossbow but I can install a large light weapon but it does take lasers as well as you can see so we're going to upgrade it with this red dot here and I'm going to sacrifice weight for a better accuracy. As you can see, crossbow is also upgraded now. Let's go test it. So it's, it's not that long range, right? You have to be like this close. Always make sure to retrieve back the bolts from the corpses. Yeah, this thing is not bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide on how to upgrade these uh, weapons using uh, Gunfighters mod. Make sure to subscribe and like and I'll see you for more videos. Thank you for watching.